Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we shall study the Riccati ordinary differential equation. Let us revise that a standard linear ordinary differential equation is an equation of this form dy by dx plus p of x into y equal to q of x. p of x and q of x, they are functions of only x. And let us see what is a Bernoulli ordinary differential equation. It is an equation of this form. And we can see in the linear ODE, we just multiply y power n with q of x and it becomes a Bernal equation. And now let us see what we mean by the Riccati ordinary differential equation. Now we can see with q of x, there is y square. y square is fixed, 2 is fixed, n is equal to 2 plus r of x. Here again, P, Q, and R, they are functions of only X. Generally, we say that the Riccati equation is an equation of the form this one, which is dy by dx is equal to P of xy plus Q of xy square plus R of x. Again, I will repeat P, Q and R, they are functions of only X. Let us see some particular examples of the Riccati equation. Example number one, dy over dx is equal to X into Y plus X cube Y square plus X power four. If we compare this with the general Riccati equation, P of X is X, Q of x is x cube, R of x is x4. We can see P, Q, and R, they are functions of only x. So this is a Riccati ordinary differential equation. Let us see example number two. Here, P of x is e power x, Q of x is x, R of x is sine x, and again we can see P, Q, and R. They are functions of only X. So this is a Riccati ordinary differential equation. Now, if we are given a Riccati ordinary differential equation, then how we can solve that equation? So let us see the method of solution. Step number one, for a Riccati ordinary differential equation, one particular solution, let us say y1, must be given in the question, or it must be known. If it is not given by guessing, we shall find one particular solution. So let us say y1 is given. Then we can go to step number two. In step number two, we shall substitute y is equal to v plus y1 in the given question and we shall simplify the given question so it will automatically be reduced to the Bernoulli ordinary differential equation and then we know how to solve a Bernoulli ordinary differential equation. Let us solve example number one. We are given a particular solution y1 is equal to 1 over x. So we shall substitute a general solution. Y is equal to V plus Y1, but Y1 is given, so we can write Y is equal to V plus 1 over X. Let us say this is equation number two. Now from this we need the value of dy by dx, so let us differentiate both sides we have dy by dx is equal to v dash minus 1 over x square. So substituting these values in 1, we obtain. So 1 becomes 
v dash minus 1 over x square. This is equal to minus 1 over x and y is equal to v plus 1 over x plus y square. So y is v plus 1 over x whole square minus 1 over x square. And we can see minus 1 over x square will cancel with minus 1 over x square. So we have v dash is equal to minus 1 over x v minus 1 over x square plus v square plus 1 over x square plus 2 v into 1 over x. And now we can see minus 1 over x square and plus 1 over x square, they will cancel. And from the remaining, now let us simplify this. So we have v dash is equal to, this is v and this one is also v. So let us simplify these two. From these two, we can get 1 over x into v plus v square. And now we can see that this is a Bernoulli ordinary differential equation in v. Let us write it in a proper way. dv over dx minus 1 over x v is equal to v square. So we can see that this is the Bernoulli equation. Now to solve the Bernoulli equation, we divide each side by v square. So from this we can obtain v power minus 2 dv by dx minus 1 over x v power minus 1 is equal to 1 and now we can we can plug in, in v power minus 1 is equal to z and if we differentiate this we can obtain minus v power minus 2 dv over dx is equal to dz over dx from this we can get v power minus 2 dv over dx is equal to minus dz over dx. Let us substitute these values in equation number 3. So 3 becomes minus dz over dx minus 1 over x into z is equal to 1. Let us multiply both sides with minus 1. So we have dz over dx plus 1 over x z is equal to minus 1. And we can see that it is a linear ODE. Linear ordinary differential equation. So to solve a linear ordinary differential equation, we find its integrating factor, which is equal to e power integration of p of x dx. And p of x here is 1 over x. So we have e power ln x. And if we further simplify this, ln will cancel with e. So f is equal to x. So now we can multiply equation number 4 with integrating factor, which is x. And we have x into dz over dx plus 1 over x z is equal to minus x. So we know that left hand side must be equal to d by dx of the integrating factor into the dependent variable. 
So now let us integrate both sides. So if we integrate both sides, we have d of x into z is equal to minus x dx. So if we integrate both sides, we have xz is equal to minus x square by 2 plus, let us say, c dash. Multiplying both sides with, dividing both sides with x, we have z is equal to minus x over 2 plus c dash over x. Let us take the LCM. The LCM is 2x. So here we have minus x square and here we have plus 2 c dash. Now let us report the value of z. So z was equal to v power minus 1. So report the value of z. So we have v power minus 1 is equal to 2c dash plus minus, sorry, this is minus x square divided by 2x. Let us take reciprocal of both sides. So this will become v and this will become 2x divided by 2c dash. Let us denote this by c minus x square. We denote 2 c dash by c. And now finally you can see that we have the value of v. So let us put this value in 2. So 2 implies 2 is y is equal to v. v is 2x divided by c minus x square plus 1 over x and that is the required solution. Let us solve example number two. We proceed as usual by substituting the general solution y is equal to v plus y1. But y1 is given so we can write v plus the value of y1 which is x square. Let us say this is equation number two. From this we obtain the value of y dash by differentiating both sides. So this is equal to v dash plus 2x. Using these values in the given question number 2, we have v dash plus 2x plus 1 over x, the value of y, which is v plus x square minus 1 over x cube into the value of y which is v plus x square whole square and this is equal to 2x. 2x will cancel with 2x and let us further simplify this. So we have v dash plus 1 over x v plus x minus 1 over x cube v square plus x4 plus 2 x square v equal to 0. And if we further simplify this, we have v dash plus 1 over x v plus x minus 1 over x cube v square Pl minus x minus 2 over x v equal to 0. And we can see minus x and plus x, they will cancel. Now, 1 over x and minus 2 over x v. Let us simplify these two terms. So we have v dash, from them we can obtain minus 1 over x v and minus 1 over x cube v square equal to 0. Let us 
write it in a proper way. So we have V dash minus one over X V is equal to one over X cube V square. And we can see that this is Bernoulli ordinary differential equation. So to solve a Bernoulli ordinary differential equation, we divide both sides by V square. So we have V power minus two into V dash. So let us write V dash as DV over DX. Minus one over X, and this will become V power minus one is equal to one over X cube. Now, let us put v power minus 1 is equal to z. And from this, if we differentiate, we get minus v power minus 2 dv over dx is equal to dz over dx. And from this, we can obtain v power minus 2 dv over dx. This is equal to minus dz over dx. So the above equation, let us say this is 3. This becomes minus dz over dx minus 1 over xz is equal to 1 over x cubed. Let us multiply both sides with minus 1. So we have dz over dx plus 1 over xz is equal to minus 1 over x cubed. And we can see that it is a linear ordinary differential equation. To solve a linear ordinary differential equation, we find integrating factor, which is equal to e power p of x dx, but p of x here is 1 over x. So from this, we can get e power ln x, which can give us x. ln will cancel with e. So now let us multiply equation 4 with integrating factor, which is x. So this becomes x into the given question, which is dz over dx plus 1 over xz is equal to minus 1 over x square. And now we know that the left hand side must be equal to d by dx of the integrating factor into the dependent variable. In the next step, let us integrate both sides. d of x into z is equal to x power minus 2. We can write this x power minus 2 into dx. And let us integrate it. So we have xz is equal to minus x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus c. So from this we can get z is equal to 1 over x square plus c over x. Let us take the LCM. The LCM is x square. So we have 1 plus cx. Now let us report the value of z. So z is equal to v power minus 1. So v power minus 1 is 1 over v. So we have 1 over v is equal to 1 plus cx divided by x square. And from this we can get the value of v which is equal to x square divided by 1 plus cx. Let us put this value of v in equation number 2, which is the general solution. So we have y is equal to v. v is x square divided by 1 plus cx and plus x square. And that is the required general solution of the given question. That's all.